Hey, it's Mike. Welcome to another video lesson. And this time I'm going to show you about screens, but not everything, just to let you know, because it is pretty large subject. So again, I have to do it two videos for this. So this time I'm going to show you how to have a different screen for create view and edit issue. Why? Because very often, especially when you create the ticket, it is not required to have that many fields. And of course, it is possible to limit them, but there is more, let's say, kind of elegant way. You can force users to do it. Plus, on top of it, you can have a very different screen scheme for a different issue type. So maybe different scheme for tasks and maybe different for story. So this is going to be connected. Yeah, And as always, please follow my steps. I will be using Jira Cloud. However, if you're using Jira Server, uh, I would say the steps are almost identical. Almost, of course, you know, the interface is a little different. All right, let's get to it. All right, let's first of all answer important question. What a screen is in Jira? And well, to answer that is really simple. If you hit, for example, create button, you're going to see this pop-up. Yeah, that pop-up is actually a screen. However, it's a little bit like kind of misleading because there are three types of this screen. You've got create, view, and edit. And obviously for view and edit is, is, is well, it, we, of course, we've got this screen, but when you go into, as I call it, full screen mode, there is no any pop-up, but there is still a screen. Yeah, so we still will be able to actually manipulate amounts of fields. So again, if we actually hit create, and for example, we've got this task, and look at this, there's so many um, fields, there are system fields, there, there are custom fields over here. And what if we do not need that many? Because believe me, this is actually a very common problem, I would say, especially for a production, when you creating, I think, a lot of custom fields. Sometimes the number can go like literally 50 to 60 even custom fields per project. So there is a very big chance you do not need that many on the on when when you create a ticket. And I'm going to show you how to how to do it. Of course, for that actually operation, you need a permission. Uh, so you need a administrator permission. I believe project administrator is not, not enough. But again, you know, I hope you've got your own Jira Cloud. So let's do it. Okay. So first step is again i'm going to be using my ssb project and i need to go to project settings and i need to go to screens so this is just like for the presentation and as i told you in the beginning you could have completely different set of the screens what you see over here for a different type what does it mean for story maybe you will have like uh, let's say about 10 or 20 yeah? but for a task or a bug could be completely completely different sets like not even related well some of them must be of course must be like summary minimum but the rest one can be completely unrelated and that's how you're gonna do it i'm only gonna show you around this one but the the, the formula is actually very same let me know in the comments if you for instance thinking this is not enough i'm gonna do it okay so step one is of course have a look what is the create edit and view and as you can see the sc the scheme is the same so what does it mean of course you know for create and view and edit we whatever we're going to do like edit for instance the screen um, and add our custom fields to the list that's going to affect all these three operations how to make a difference how to how to how to how to actually split all right so we have to leave this tab open and we need to navigate to just like open for instance the second tab and we go straight away to screen so i'm using uh, dot and i'm going to give you actually the right way how to do it because yes as i told you it's a little bit confusing first 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 time when i was trying to do it it took me probably like a few days to figure this out so why I'm, why I'm doing it like this, because we're just going to show you, because it's easier. It's just easier. It's more effective. Uh, so we need to copy the name. So you can do it, of course, uh, create new screen, but that's going to be a little problem, especially if you already have a lot of fields. Adding them is going to be a little bit more tricky than, than copy the screen and remove it. So it's easy. 
Yeah, that's why I'm just doing this. So look at this. This one is going to be called Scream uh, Default Issues. And by the way, the, the name is very default. So if you've got, for instance, project, I don't know, ABC, and is a Scrum, the name will be very, very similar. So just make sure, you know, that's the, that's the right name. So now what we're going to do, uh, use the meatballs and we do copy. And from here, I will use my name. So just like, as I told you, you know, I'm really, let's say, kind of, uh, kind of obsessed regarding names. So I'm going to call it SSB because that's the name of my project. And I need to make sure this is actually the create screen. Yeah. So that's why I've just put the right name. All right. So let's copy that. And now if we go for SSB, create screen, we'll have an exact copy of the default scheme. And that's what I told you, that I prefer that method than actually starting from, from blank because it's easier. And look at this, at the moment, I'm only just gonna like have something like completely uh, limited, yeah? So I don't really need that many stuff, yeah? So we're just gonna start removing them completely from that list. So fixed version, don't need even reporter because it's automatic description. Yes, I need attachment, security level, no, project start date, no, due date, no, components, no, issue type, yes, summary, Yes, a pink name. A pink name must be. So please, please be careful with this. If you remove a pink name, and that scheme will be also available for epics, well, you won't be able to create epic because you will keep actually saying epic name is missing. All right. So uh, linked issues again. No fixed. No department. No. Look at this. This is actually super limited. Okay, I'm very happy about this. So now, step two is I need to again copy that name, go to my projects. I'm going to show you again. So I'm going to go to project, project settings. I'm going to go into screens. Yeah. And I will hit the edit button. Of course, you know, if you have many uh, screen schemes here, up to you, I'm deleted. So I've got only one. So that's mean all issues using the same one. And I go for edit. Come on, dear. And now I'm going to go for associate and issue operation with a screen. So as I told you, there are three. So we go for create. And here is little bit, you know, I don't really like this because especially if you've got like hundreds, sometimes thousands of them, it's a little tricky to find them. So I need to find from the list SSB, create screen. That's why naming is so important. Okay, create that. Cool. So look, at the moment we've got create, and default. So that's what that's what the default. So it's because it's covering for the extra additionals too. So I'm happy with that. Let's see how that works. Okay, so we can leave this open here, go back to the project, go to SSB, and something interesting gonna happen now. So if I'm gonna hit create, look at this. How limited is that screen? And even you know, if I go for show field, I only got four. And this is why, because I've just limited that. So it's a really, really, really simple operation, yeah? There you go. So that's how you're gonna do it. However, let's actually have a little bit more fun with that and I need to create something for view. So again, mm, it depends, but I'm gonna give you my real life example. Normally, normally I'm just gonna start jumping. I will keep the view and edit the same. Why? Because there's no point to be honest, like most of the time have different uh, view and edit. Uh, but it may be, maybe in your case, no problem. But in my case, most of the time, view and edit is the same. So I can do two things. I can leave the, the default as it is, but I don't like it because maybe I'm going to use it later for back. We, we're going to do it in a second, yeah? So what we're going to do, create, uh, again, copy, basically the default, yeah? So again, I'm going to copy that, go to the screens, screens, there you go, find, default, and normally I will probably rename it, probably rename it. So exactly, let's, let's do it. So let's, let's actually, so I'm going to call it SSB view slash edit. Okay. Let's update. Cool. So that was, that is going to be, that was, it will do it automatically for you. So you don't have to do it. So look at this. Now, this is actually my like production approach. So we've got create, edit view. So now let's have a little bit more fun because that was pretty simple. So now what is going to happen if we would like to have that different uh, scheme for the back? Yeah. 
pretty simple. Okay, so what do we have to do? Now we need to um, create screen scheme. So please bear with me because this one is a little bit more complex. Yeah. So we go over to the screams, screen, screams, screens. Yeah. And again, we need to add first this one. So I'm going to call it SSB and I'm going to call it bag dash or whatever bag yeah. create. Cool. All right. So we start a little bit different this time so we start from the blank one so now we go for screen schemes so we go screen schemes and I'm gonna call it SSB screen scheme description no problem you can put whatever you want and again I'm gonna SSB back create because it's my default yeah so let's hit that and now <laughs> the last one is gonna be the issue type screen so again i would probably most of the time copy but we starting actually just from for fun from scratch so why not so i'm gonna go again call it ssb and we copy that issue type yep however here we have to select default ssb Back. Add. Okay, that's fine. So now let's add it to the project. All right, let's go back to the project. So again, we need to be SSB configuration. Screens. Cool. And now we're not going to edit here, but we go over here and go and use edit. Yep. Associate with issue. So this time we say bug there you go and here we go ssb S there you go add okay and let's see how that works so let's move back oh there's too much all right looks good so look we've got ssb so i think it's some problem with the PB, but whatever, sorry for that. So it's SSB actually, not SSB, I've made a small mistake. But anyway, we've got SSP creates and view. And now we've got, and this one is SSP. But as you can see, again, this is actually one only because you know how you want to do it, but there is one, there's going to be a little problem. The problem is, look at this, if I'm going to open this in a new tab, it is, well, yes, it is not, it is not empty, but need a little bit adjustment yeah because we copied we copied basically the screen so again you know at this moment what i told you we we need we need to a little bit adjust so again i will probably go for remove 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 so of course not going to go for x any extra however if i would like to have like maybe not a provost but uh back out plan yeah if we would like to have maybe a change reason yeah if that's the case whatever fields you need you need to configure them so what what does it mean you can have completely separate those two screens and also please remember every time we're editing that you are doing this around the same project super important all right so let's have a look how it works so we go back let's go to the project view project yeah and now let's hit create so look task is something something really really simple but back ooh we actually start receiving some extra things like that back out plan or change reason yeah so now you know how to do it so please again you know do not just watch it uh please implement that knowledge and of course of course of course you know you need some practice you need some practice to do that and of course you know if you have any questions let me know don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much and i hope to see you next time